31, let's practice doing a couple of the, or not a couple, we'll, we'll use this function and we're gonna find a couple of function values. Now I'm gonna do what I can without a calculator, but I want you to keep in mind that you will always have this, cal or you can always use your calculator. So if you don't like what I'm doing by hand, then just use your calculator. And I'll tell you for a couple of these, specifically D, I would have to use my calculator. All right, for B, I'd probably want to use my calculator just because it would take me too long to do it by hand, but for, for part D, I'm gonna have to. So with that, let, let's practice this. If f of x is eight to the x, you do have an exponential function because you have a power here, all right? The base is eight, but the exponent is x. So your variable is up in the exponent. That's what makes this an exponential function, and we're going to evaluate an exponential expression. So if I want f of negative two, that would be eight to the negative two power. Well, that's great. Now, I'm gonna do this by hand, and then I'm gonna show it, um, show it to you on your calculator. If you remember negative exponents, they have to do with reciprocals. So I'm gonna change this into the reciprocal of one over eight squared. Right? So I'm gonna travel that exponent or that exponential expression down to the denominator, and this is just gonna become one over 64. So f of negative two is the fraction one over 64. I'm just gonna put a little separation there. Okay, now I want you to see what this would look like on your calculator. So let me clear out this and let's do eight raised to the negative two power. And I'm going to get this decimal here. And you might say, well, that doesn't look like one over 64. You're right, it doesn't. Now you can give me that decimal, that's a fine answer. But if you hit math and then you hit frac, it'll convert it to one over 64, great. All right, let's look at eight, or excuse me, f of five. This would be eight to the fifth. Now this is that one where, again, I, I could multiply this out if you wanted to. This would be eight times eight times eight times eight times eight. I mean, I know eight times eight is 64. This is another 64 times eight. I just, I don't really wanna do that by hand. So I am just gonna go right to my calculator and take a look at, oops, eight to the fifth. So that would be 32,768. Okay, great. So f of five is 32,000, what did we say, 768. Okay, so there's my answers, or they're starting to be my answers. All right, I wanna talk about f of two thirds. This would be eight to the two thirds. Now way back in chapter two, we talked about how rational exponents can be rewritten as radicals. So I wanna show you how to do this by hand, and then I'm gonna show you what it is on your calculator. This would be the cube root of eight squared, okay? So whatever your denominator is in your rational exponent, and again, rational exponent, it just means I have a fraction up in the exponent. So my denominator becomes my index, and my numerator becomes the exponent on this base of eight. All right, and from here we can start to work it. This is now the cube root of 64. And if you remember the cube root of 64, well, that's the cube root of, oh, excuse me, cube root of 64 is four. That's what I meant to say. So my answer is just four. And I could have plugged that into my calculator. I could have done eight to the two thirds, as long as you put that fraction, that rational exponent in parentheses, we would get eight to the two thirds being four, all right? So here I'm saying, let me put this in here, we know f of 2 thirds is equal to four. Now before I move on from here, I just wanna point out, some of you might have done this the other way. So there's actually a couple of ways to do this. You could have done this as the cube root of eight, and then you could have squared the entire thing. Here I put the square under the radical. You also have the option to put it outside of the radical here. And if you remember the cube root of eight, that's equal to two. So I would have two squared, which is equal to four. So you got three ways of getting to four. You can put the exponent under the radical, out of the radical, or you can just use your calculator. Find one that works for you. And last but not least, we have eight to the 2.15 power. Now, before I go too much further, I want us to think about what this number would be in our heads. You know eight squared is 64. If I did eight cubed, let's see what eight cubed would leave me with. Eight cubed, we're gonna pretend I did that in my head, it's 512, all right? And I mentioned this because we want eight to the 2.15. 
Now, 2.15 is much closer to 2 than it is to 3, so I expect this answer to be closer to 64 than it is to 512. And let's see what we've got. If I do 8 raised to the 2.15 power, I'm going to get, well, there we go, 87.427. All right, and this was just some side work here. So 87, it is a lot closer to 64 than it is to 512, so I'm pretty happy with my answer. All right, so with that, we're gonna flip the page, and we're just gonna take a look at a few functions and make sure we can identify, yes, this is an exponential function, because as we proceed through the first few sections of this chapter, we're gonna learn how to manipulate exponential functions. All right, I will see you in a bit, gang, bye.